Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to Card Fight Rang Red Overdress Episode 1. I will be watching it from Crunchyroll's website and I will be starting my reaction in 1 0 Go! Alright, I'm pumped up for this. Alright, it seems like a pleasant start so far. Give me some. Slice of Life vibes so far, and for those of you wondering, I haven't seen a card, card fight Ben Dread anime yet. So this will be my first one. <laughs> Yo, I like this trick! Yo! Well, I like both. I like my eggs with soy sauce and ketchup, but ketchup is better. So I actually share her opinion. I wonder what type of promise he made. Wait! Are they... They're actually having to do cross-dress! <laughs> oh my! Oh! I'm surprised he didn't refuse her. <laughs> you know shit's real when even the mother is questioning whether you're... An actual dude, the spider being the mother. <laughs> That's fucking adorable. Whoa. Yo, you would think the mother would have been like understanding. Or maybe she's the older sister. He would look like he's one down with the bra. I'm so sorry for the boy! <laughs> Okay, what's up to do anything? I like how they're debating whether that's... Finally got pissed! <laughs> I'm assuming he can't say the word no. Yep, had a feeling. Most men wouldn't like to be played around like a toy, or just like a doll. When it comes to makeup being put on your body against your will. But hopefully there comes a day where he gains some toughness, but wow. Great start, actually. Holy fuck. And it's a card, yeah, it even got caught in the title. This is a miracle. Could this be? A card game anime that doesn't suck. Thank you. Thank you. I already like the first few minutes and I already love this way more than Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens and Shadowverse. I'm like, oh, it looks like it's gonna be dark going by the broken sunglasses, jeez. And all the character designs look so kick-ass. Yo, the opening! Oh, man, I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to listen to this a hell of a lot of times now. Yes, this looks like a card game anime I can get behind. Fancy poses, cool looking characters. My goodness. Yes, people crying over a children's card game. Fuck yes. No, I'm just joking. I'm not going to call it a card game by Vandred. Vanguard. I meant to say Vanguard, a children's card game. I'm not going to call, call it that because it looks pretty dang cool. I mean, for one, you should take off the makeup in the... This guy looks completely scummy. That's a child! Okay, that's just creepy. Alright, good shit. Whoa! This guy is itching for an asshole, but I have a feeling this chick's gonna kick his ass. Yes! <laughs> Fucking deserve that shit. Whoa. Aw, oh, look at it. Adorable. Although, honestly, though, before any of sentence happened, you has to mention that he's a boy. He has to. He 
He has to. Come on with it, boy. Come on. <laughs> oh man, it's looking adorable. Then that's the life, though. Life is always going to be filled with a lot of bad apples. Oh, so not biologically related. That's still cute, though. That she sounds the bond with someone where she can call a brother, though. <laughs> She does! That blushing! It gives it away. Uh-huh. Sure. Sure. She's getting nervous. She's... Bullshit! She's making it obvious that she's head over heels for her own brother. That's a cute-ass name. Now, come on, you. you. Reveal your name, damn it! I mean, not, I mean, your name. I meant to say reveal your identity. Do it. All right, he can come out with it. He has to come out with it. Because it seems like he can become really big friends with Ngumi and making friendships on the basis of a lie isn't usually a good idea. Does this guy never learn his lesson? And speaking of which, how can he still walk after his balls are kicked like that? He did. Hell, he deserved more than a kick in the balls. Dude, even pigeons know to take a shit on him. Oh, it's a crow. Good! I wish you would have put it, took a shit on his mouth too. That would have been nice. <laughs> Yo, I like this chick! Yo! Okay, she definitely looks like the one who'd be on top in most situations. <laughs> Alright, I was joking. <laughs> or was I? Oh, okay, that's an amazing wig if it's still on after all that running. Oh! Oh, I'm... shit! Fuck! Okay, now it's gonna make it hard for him to not keep the lie, but now, now he has to come out with the truth. If she's already using the friend, the term friend, he has to. Okay, now he really has to fucking do it. All right, but he has to reveal it before she reveals you to all of her friends because it's just gonna make it more awkward. Because in the small line, it's gonna become an even bigger lie. And it's going to be a bad thing in the long run. Wait! Wait, what the fuck is this? Actual parents in a children's guardian actually calling up about their child? Beyond hours of her curfew? <laughs> wait! Wait, 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 what? Parents being responsible. Holy shit! In a card anime, wow. Okay, how the fuck has this guy not given up? He deserved it. He deserved more than just a kick in the balls, too. He's going up against children. How the fuck does he think he's high and mighty with that? Oh. It's gonna be revealed that he's a boy. I'm, I'm assuming. Oh. Or not. Oh. The brother, I'm guessing. I 
I'm assuming those are going to probably be Megumi's friends. Yeah, if uh, that pervert knows what he, it's good for him, he should ru run the fuck away. Exactly. Exactly, that's true. It goes both ways. You shouldn't strike anyone ever unless it's for self-defense purposes, then you should. I don't like Tanjiro. <laughs> He can't. I don't think he's gonna be able to rip it. That thing looks hard. He's not gonna be able to rip it. <laughs> okay, this fucker has no right to talk, though. Oh. Yeah, he better take that. Good! It looks like at least that bastard's smart enough to at the very least learn to value his own life. Aww. The brother's fucking cool. I like... Yo, it's so weird to get to see a Cardi Man anime where I actually like all the fucking characters. Wow. I, I don't even know how this feels seeing a good card... Card game anime. <laughs> I'm like, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 and Shadowverse has been like, causing me, well, Shadowverse has been causing me all this torment. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 became decent. But damn, this first episode's better than some of the best Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 episodes. This is the first introductory episode. I kind of get anywhere ever done you though where he's falling in love with you straight up. <laughs> Yo! But yeah, I love Nanji. I love Megumi. I love Yu Yu. Yeah, of course you'll say yes with the way he was blushing. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, that's cute. I hope. All right. I mean, I hope they all prosper. I'm liking all except for the perverted dude, but he's supposed to be unlikable, though. Oh, that. No, that is a cool officer. They're doing her job. Checking up on the. Checking up on the kid. Making sure to call the parent. Responsible parenting. Yes! Man, I love that. I love that. Because even though the parents of you aren't involved, you're at the very least seeing them indirectly involved. That is so freaking cool. Kappa. I recognize that little form. Fun, fun. Hmm. I'm assuming that's her dueling outfit. Thank God, I love how she says that. Hey, it only took me a small bit to get used to saying the word Vanguard. But damn, it's got such a beautiful, it just slips out the tongue. Hey, I'm gonna blame her both for being nervous one bit. Huh? Oh. 
Uh, I wonder how they're going to make the Vanguard game so, um, engaging, though, since this is my first time I've ever seen a Vanguard anime. I wonder if they're going to use, like, holographs to, like, project the actual Vanguard creatures, or is it just going to be conventional card games? That's what I'm wondering. I love how they're overly dramatic on the dude an invader. Y'all have even got a cutesy announcer girl. I like it. Alright, Blondie looks like a freaking badass. Although, you know what to say, looks can be deceiving. Yeah, I love the green factor with all the eyes opening up. Feels like you see, um, otherworldly beings about to do some savage shit. Oh, so it's actual conventional card game playing with no holograms. Huh. I mean, alright. I guess this series wanna present in their own way. It's cool, I guess. At least the animation looks good, though. Like the way they just turned the cards, the sound effects when they smoothly land on the mat. I wonder what's gonna call it then. I like this, don't you? He's level headed, he's not overly cocky. You can see he has respect for his opponent. Whoa, whoa, what the? What the fuck? Whoa, 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 wait. Did they actually... Did they actually play games with people's lives on the line? Whoa! Now I'm liking the music's becoming intense now! I just love how, like, the announcer is so fucking excited. <laughs> As if it's, like, a boxing match or, um, anything with, like, a massive amount of violence. Yo, that's an occasion. Yeah, he did. Okay, what is the aura coming from? Or is it a figurative aura? Damn, I'm actually shocked that the animators are going this far. I'm animating all this. I don't remember the last time I seen a card game anime with this much effort put it. Yes, creatures, fuck yeah! Well, it's not even stock footage. It's Ezra Beauty. Yo! Now this is how card game anime should be. Dynamic backgrounds. Background destruction. Those smears. Oh lord. It's beautiful. And I like it. They're showing fights. And we're seeing their attacks represented by the cards they're drawing. But you're seeing like nice fantasy style fights. Yo! This is epic! Yo! Looks like I kicked 
a soccer ball. A metallic soccer ball with explosive... Yup, you know what they say, badasses don't look at explosions. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was awesome. All right, I like that Blondie's badass determination. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just gonna react to that. <laughs> I love it, his face. Andre, you can tell he's uh, he was happy. He impressed her. <laughs> Honestly, she is an she does an awesome job. Oh, she's the officer. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they'll be too pissing. Oh, I feel so bad for her. for Megumi. Oh yeah, Megumi's a good kid. I think Donji wouldn't mind. Yeah, Donji's a cool dude. Yo, where this dude? I love him. Man, like Donji's, he uses charisma, leadership traits. I don't think that's an issue. They accept anyone. I Megumi even told them. You, you. Yeah. Ah. But it's all good though. <laughs> But it's good though, I mean... I like how it's still processing to her that you use a boy. <laughs> Look at you. Alright. I love it! I fucking love it! Yeah! Finally. A card came out of me that isn't a piece of shit. I don't even, I don't even remember the last time I watched a card anime, card anime that didn't make me feel like it was trash, but it did it! It fucking did it! Wow! I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I don't even know what to say other than I'm impressed. I gotta salute the animators and the writing staff. And the CD's cute too, seeing Megumi there in the museum. It's cute, aww. I wonder if the implies there's gonna be romance and um, elements here. That'd be pretty nice. I wouldn't mind seeing Megumi fall in love with someone. Whoa, oh, oh, I. It's showing me down today. That's pretty cute there, aww. Alright, let's hope they have a preview. I need to see more! Stop, Dondry! Alright. Oh! Guess it makes sense with a lot of power, there'd be the drop that could be taking a while, mile for it to um, activate its full effects and. It actually is. I mean, if it was able to do all that during the episode. All right, let's see. There's a preview. Damn, no preview. But it was. I loved it though. Trickster. Oh. Okay. I guess we get a title for next week then. Okay. I'm definitely gonna rate this five stars on Crunchyroll. Zero votes. We'll hope I'm the first vote. Whoa, shit. 
I watched it the moment it premiered on Crunchyroll, but... Damn, I already got three votes! Holy shit! I guess I'm vote number two then. Fuck yeah! Now, in saying that though, let me rate this episode over on a scale of one to ten. Holy shit, I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10. That was absolutely fabulous because, from one, I like its premise. Well, yes, it's gonna be a card game anime. The way it executes it by having, like, them betray the card battles through, like, having the individual cards fight was absolutely freaking cool and baller as fuck. I thought there was a lot of creativity there. So that's why I was a big fan of how they handled the writing. And then plus, aside from those really darn nice plot threads, I loved it from a character standpoint because I thought Yu Yu was sweet, his family is hilarious, I thought Megumi was cute how she stood up for Yu Yu, Donji was such a bro. Overall, all the characters are completely lovable. Animation was beautiful, music was kick ass, love the opening ED themes, and that's why I felt the episode was worthy of a 9.25 out of 10. And fuck yeah, I'm watching episode 2. Hell yes! That ain't gonna be a, that's not even a question for me. But, anyways, y'all. These are my thoughts on the episode. I would love to hear your thoughts and how I feel about my reaction or the episode itself in the comment section below. Hope y'all rate the bin, share it, comment, and subscribe.